so glad that today is the day. Good morning. <clears throat> it is the day of the sack. The sack that I've been preparing for not that long. <laughs> it's the sack that I'm least confident in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm so glad that today is the day. I'm so glad that this day has come. <laughs> So that I can finally move on with life and stop doing splash every day. And I'm happy, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't really want to worry about it because I feel like I've worked hard. Maybe my preparation wasn't enough. But for now, I know I tried my best in the time frame that I have. So I should be happy with myself. I am, I am. Hmm. I understand that I might not get like a perfect score but I want to be proud of it, you know? I want to be proud at the end of the test and be like, yeah, I tried my best and no regrets, you know? <laughs> I know it's only a sec, it's not the final exam yet but I'm training for the final exam, yeah it's okay. <laughs> the final grind for this sack. Yes! <laughs> oh, did I say good morning? Yeah, I did. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Kelly, you believe in me, right? Da -da. Da -da. I'm back from school and tutoring. Now I'm gonna talk about how was the sack and kind of like what did I learn from this preparation. Honestly, the sack was fine. <laughs> I felt satisfied with my preparation and how I performed in the sack. My first sack of the year was quite successful well not really because i don't know the results yet but based on just the process and the day of the sack it is a success to me <laughs> i guess the only thing that i really throughout this period of time during my preparation for the sack is that I am not taking good care of myself. <laughs> I am sacrificing my health for studying. 
and that's not how it should be. I truly realized that balance is so important. <laughs> But you know, priorities make up priorities. Yeah, and things happen, so I'm out of balance, and now here I am trying to find balance again. I'm a work in progress, but we will get there. Yeah, we will get there. Good morning. I wanted to talk about more stuff yesterday, but I was too tired last night. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is. Kind of like a reflection of my preparation for the set. I think what I've done well is that I did a lot, a lot of questions. I reviewed my mistakes every day, and I think I have maybe ninety percent of understanding in the topics. Wait, I think maybe ninety five. 95 to 99. I don't want to say that I have 100% of understanding because n- no, I I don't think I have. But I have like a decent, solid understanding of the topics. Those are the things that I've done well. Now for the things that I could improve in the future. So I have not been taking care of myself for the past week. There were a lot of mood swings. I felt very tired most of the time, especially in the mornings. I get sleepy very early, but I force myself to stay up so I can study. Another thing is that I think I started revision quite late this time. Normally, I start preparing very early. <laughs> Not this time, yeah. So this this time I was kind of rush. That's why I was kind of like. Cramming all the practice questions, but in the end, I still finished them. So obviously, I still have more sacks coming. I think my next one is methods and biology, and I have to catch up with my other subjects as well because this week I've been neglecting other subjects and just fully focus on Spanish. Oh yeah, and I had tutoring yesterday, and the teacher said something that really inspired me because he gave a motivational speech for thirty minutes before class. I remember the last class he also gave a speech and some something like that, but during that class I was so anxious, so stressed. The class yesterday, instead of feeling pressured, I felt inspired and motivated to work hard. I find that fascinating. It's like my brain suddenly clicked that stress doesn't have to be a negative thing. <laughs> I feel like I sound so stupid right now. <laughs> I know stress is not a negative thing. Stress pushes us to. Do stuff that are important and let us prioritize stuff that needs to get done. But I don't know why. Yesterday, I just suddenly realized that stress can be inspiring. <laughs> I don't know what to say, right?、Like, because normally I would feel like I need to catch up, and I'm not as good as others. That's why I need to work harder. I'm not born smart and blah blah blah. Yesterday, I didn't have any of those thoughts. Instead, I was like, I want to continue working hard so that I can be proud of myself in the end and have no regrets for year twelve. So the key takeaway is that stress can be a positive thing as long as you switch your perspective on it and I guess start thinking about yourself. Instead of thinking about other people, like comparing yourself with others, normally I I do not compare myself with others because I understand this is my journey. Everyone's journey is different, but I feel like our brain is tempted to do that sometimes. However, 
We just gotta remember, stress is not from other people. It is supposed to be from yourself and for yourself. I'm not sure if anyone understands what I'm talking about, but I think I make sense. Yes. Wait, am I recording? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. You know, sometimes I forgot to record and then I've talked for 15 minutes and I just realized, oh my god, I, I didn't record. <laughs> I'm so happy that I got through this week. We can do it. As long as we keep going, we can get there. Yes. And I have eight more months till the exam. Instead of feeling scared, the exam i feel like i'm ready to crush it like i will be ready to crush it at that time let's go let's go Thank you.